Welcome to the North Dakota Public Health Laboratory. I'm Dr. Christy Mason, and I'm going to walk you through the life of a specimen that's being tested for the novel coronavirus. After the specimen's been collected by a healthcare provider, we have a statewide courier system that is actually going to travel around the state and bring the specimens here to our laboratory daily. This box is packaged appropriately with ice packs and properly packaged specimens. Once we receive this box, we're going to unpack it, pull the specimens out, then we're going to verify that the specimen matches the test orders and the specimen is ready to be processed. From there, we are going to order the test in our laboratory information management system, label the specimen, and then it's ready to move on for processing. To prepare our specimens for analysis, we are going to work with the specimens underneath this biosafety cabinet. This hood has air circulating inside of it where it pulls the air from the hood out through a HEPA filter to be cleaned before it exits the building. This keeps the workers safe as they're working with the specimens in case there would be a spill. So we're going to take specimen from our original tube, we're going to pipette it out into one of our extraction plates which will be necessary for the extraction process. Once the specimens are processed and ready for extraction, we will bring them in here with our extractors. So this is our Kaya cube where we will load our specimens and our reagents, and then we will allow this to extract the RNA from the specimens. We have three different instruments in this room, our Kaya cube, our Roche LC, and in the back we have our newest extractor, the Easy one once the specimens have been extracted, we'll bring them into this room with our instruments that will detect the virus. We have the ABI 7500 FASTDX and two of these Quant Studios. The first part of the detection process is to amplify the target RNA if it's present. We're going to do this through several cycles of different temperatures. This chart shows you the different temperatures and how long we hold. For example, we're going to hold it at 25 degrees for two minutes, then 50 degrees for 15 minutes, and so on. We're going to repeat this so that that target RNA, if it's present, will get bigger and bigger and bigger by replicating it. After the target has been amplified and it's large enough for us to detect, the instrument will be able to read it and we can see it on our plots. So when we analyze our results, the first thing we look for is the quality of specimen. So as you can see, we had a target that was all positive. This is our positive line or our threshold. Once it crosses that threshold, we know we have a nice positive specimen. So all the specimens on this particular run were of good quality. Then we look at each of the targets specific for the virus. Everything down here is just background noise. This line here shows us our positive control. That tells us that our run worked. We expected that positive control to be positive and we see a nice positive curve on the graph. Then we had a positive patient. You can see that is very similar to that positive control line. Both of these lines went above our positive threshold. Then we'll look at the second target of the virus. And again, we can see a nice positive control in that positive patient, which was positive for both targets of the novel coronavirus. 